you can make Is he one. gonna die right oh, now? The there the we go. go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're gonna be reacting to season one, episode six of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Road of Hope. A better better than last yeah, time. It was a uh, rain of sorrows we're last time. We're making progress. So uh, Road of Hope, we we're past the rain, the clouds have parted, maybe we the Road of Hope has been revealed. <laughs> I'm wondering what's going to happen now that the state alchemists know about the Ishvalan situation. That there's one survivor on the run mm -hmm. going after state alchemists. I mean, they're and just like, I don't know, what do they even do with that? It's going to be interesting to see in this episode, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for Full Metal Alchemist as our next series. This is the amount of people we have subscribed to the channel that have been watching our first five episodes thus far. We would love for you guys to stick around for the entire thing, so make sure to hit subscribe down below to keep up with our posts coming every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see episodes early, check out the Patreon linked in the description below and join the community of over 3,000 on there and see these episodes in their extended uncut forms right now. Are we excited for season one, episode six of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! Ed and Al decided to return to their home in Risenbool to seek help in repairing their bodies. Ah, they're going back to, uh, what's her name? Winry. All right. Season 1, Episode 6, Road of Hope. Hope to get their bodies back, maybe? So, might not be much alchemy, considering... They don't have all their Was arms. that a hope pun on purpose? You said road to hope. Hope they get their bodies back. Oh, I did back. not. I did not okay. put that together. Anyway. <laughs> the folks at the Eastern Command Center were a little too busy to make it down here today. So I came to see you off instead. Great. But would you mind telling me what the Major's doing here? Oh, boy. For protection. What would happen if Scar came after you again? You're in no shape for a fight now, Ed. The Major's here to help. Just try to grin and bear it. Children can be so stubborn. Hey, shut up! I'm no child! Anyway, are and you then sure responds like board? that. Yeah. Of course. I thought that was another chimera. I thought he might get oh. lonely with that little cup. My brother isn't some kind of farm animal! He's back oh, with the sheep. Time. That's where I would rather spend the train ride. Honestly. Okay, you boys have a safe trip. Stop in and give me a shout the next time you make it to Central. It's cool, they have the screen moving, is there? Yeah, there's a lot of creative framing in this yeah. show. In regards to animation. I feel like I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, the animation is striking me as having a lot of care and heart mm -hmm. in it. Like, there's co like, it's fun seeing a colorful animation. Yeah. Chris and I watched um, My Hero Academia together. It's by the same studio. Okay. And the color aspect difference from Attack on Titan is worlds different. That's so interesting. Like, th this is just something you'd never see, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Marco! Dr. Marco, that is you, isn't it? It's me, Alex Louise Armstrong from Central! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <sighs> Panic. <laughs> friend of yours? He's from Central. A yeah, talented seems like a friend. alchemist. He was researching into possible medical applications of alchemy. But after the Ishvalan Civil War, he went missing, just disappeared. Mm. Let's go, Major. Seems like a, a lot like is tied to that Civil War. Mm -hmm. bio -alchemy. Excuse me, but do you know who this person is by any chance? Oh, Major, you can really draw. The art of portraiture <laughs> has been passed down to the Armstrong family for generations. Seems and like every, that. everything Moro is. Moro? Yeah. All of our town's doctors were drafted to help on the battlefields during the Civil War. Then Dr. Morrow came here. He's really been a lifesaver. He'll see any patient and he never gives up on anybody. We're lucky he's here. You see this big bright flash of light and then you're cured just like that. <clears throat> Does he have a philosopher's stone? Um, hello? Uh, oh, um... All right, tell me what you two are doing here. Have you come to take me back? Please, Doctor, calm down. The way he's carrying him around yeah. the crate. Anything but that! That's not it. Please, listen. So you're here to silence me, then? No, nothing like that. I won't be tricked by you. 
I'll ask you one more time, please turn down. Now five. <laughs> That'll help. Yeah. Just toss him. That'll make people like you and want to help. So you yeah. changed your name and decided to live in hiding way out here in the countryside. If the rumors I've heard can be believed, when you disappeared, you took top secret materials with you. I couldn't handle it anymore. Order or no order, to have to dirty my hands researching that thing was too much. What thing is that? What thing? Yeah. It took so many lives. During the Civil War, so many innocent died because of it. Was it like a bioweapon? Can you clarify, please? It's not that hard. For the things I've done. But I had to do something, so I came here to be a doctor to save lives instead of taking them. Doctor, what exactly was it you were ordered to do research on? What thing? The Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> the there top we go. secret materials I took were my research documents, and the stone itself. Did you mean you still have it? He has it's one. Here? That's what he's been using. Yeah, right. A juice. Be the stone. It's a liquid. Little smoothie. <gasps> oh, he can just make it. Oh. The sage's stone, the grand elixir, the celestial stone, the red tincture, the fifth element. Just as the Philosopher's Stone is called by many names, so it can take on many forms, it is okay. not necessarily oh. a stone. This is an incomplete product, however. There's no way to know when it will reach its limit and become unusable. Hmm. Finished or not, it demonstrated plenty of power during the Ishval and Civil War, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like the stone that false priest had in Lior. It was incomplete, but it still amplified his powers considerably. Yeah, like the mm -hmm. semi, the fake plus. Like how did that, stones yeah. this powerful can be produced. Who's to say a complete product can't be created? Please, Dr. Marco, I need access to your research materials. Major, who exactly is this boy? This boy is a state alchemist, Doctor. What? But he's only a child. He's not going to scream that there time. Were many state alchemists who turned in their certifications oh. because they refused to serve as human weapons anymore. Wow. And now a child. You think I don't know what I've signed up for? I know what I'm doing, but I don't have any choice. If this is a mistake, then it's a mistake I have to make. There is no other way. I see. So you've committed the taboo. Amazing. The ability to transmute a specific person's soul like this. Maybe one as talented as you would be able to produce a complete Philosopher's oh. Stone. So? But I can't show you my research. Why not? You must not seek Wait. after the stone. Not even if it's to get our bodies back? You mentioned this last episode, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, which is there has to be a drawback of the Philosopher's Stone. Otherwise, it can't, like, sure, it breaks the law of equivalent exchange, but there's got to be, like, I bet they're like, now the trade-off is you trade your mental sanity or, like, something like that. Yeah, or just, like, bad stuff starts happening to you. It's, like, a vibe thing or uh, an energy thing, maybe. Or is it just power corrupts and that's just kind of the way? Yeah, maybe it's fine until you use it too much. Ah. You must not seek after the stone. Not even if it's to get our bodies back? Never. This is the devil's research. Mm. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. I've already <gasps> been through hell! Please. Please just leave. <laughs> hmm. I've already been through hell! Are you sure about this, Ed? Huh? Even an incomplete Philosopher's Stone could be useful. You could have taken it from the doctor by force. Yeah, I wanted it so badly I could almost taste it. But still. Huh. But still, we don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only doctor to get it. We gave really good people. Why can't you just take half of it, though? Can be made. 
Now we'll just have to look for some other way to do it. If it's makeable, there's a recipe. Yeah. His whole deal is that if you know the recipe, you can just make it. So can't, why couldn't he just make a stone? Because I don't think he knows the recipe. But now he knows that it's findable. So can exactly. he go find... Okay. I think that's what he just said. He's like, wow, well, at least if we didn't get it, we just have to find another way to find the recipe. Okay. That... Gotcha. That's what I was Like, saying. I think that's what he's saying. We gain plenty just by finding out that the Philosopher's Stone can be made. Yeah. Now we'll just have to look for some other way to do it. What about you, Major? How do you feel about not reporting back to Central cool. on Dr. Marco's location? I met a simple small town doctor today. I can't see any real reason to report that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he's back? Dr. Marco? This is where my materials are. Oh, if you're certain okay. you won't regret learning the truth in the end, start looking here. The truth? That Look word keeps being said. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. But oh. I've said too much already. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope will come when you are able to restore your body. Because we referred to the god that he met the thing mm -hmm. as the truth. Yeah. Brother, All right, so he has the recipe. The Great. National Central Library, first branch. Well, I get it. Like hiding a tree in the forest. Finding one book in that giant library will be difficult indeed. That was pretty smart. Finally, another clue about the stone. The stone, a stone. Is there only one? That's yeah, be question. specific. You can. Is he going to die right now? Only one. There we Lost. go. <laughs> He's about to get in big trouble. Yikes. Full metal Henry. But yeah, Lust is in town. <laughs> Weird thing to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Henry. Hey, sweet Shayana. <gasps> so I just put together the fact that oh dear, what have you done now? he can, got his what arm constructed when she up? was a kid, too. So she was a prodigy as well. Oh, this is Major Alex okay. Louise yeah. Armstrong. Oh, I'm look at the arm on the dog! I know I haven't seen you for a while, Ed. But you've gone and grown smaller. <laughs> Granny, you've got it wrong. You're supposed to say how big you've grown lately, Ed. But why would I say something so clearly untrue? I'm still you, mini hag! Oh. Ah, uh, right. Winry's good at throwing the rain. I need a call first when you're heading back here for maintenance. Wait, Ray! Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, sorry. It's Not that upsetting. Up. A little smashed up, a little. And do you see what you've done to my beautiful creation? I slaved over this. It's basically the same, just in smaller pieces. Don't tell me. You a little smashed up too, Al? What kind of trouble His have you little been cartoon face. Into? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow so expressive. You idiots. I really like this bandeau top All right. cargo pant situation she has In going order to on. Get this yeah. Information you need, you want to go to Central as soon as possible. So Am I right? Cute. Good to see yeah. a dog that's not it's mixed kind of a with a order. child. Yeah, no, always it's love not that. The arm. Your leg needs adjusting too. Guess your growth's not completely stunted after all. Shit, don't shut up! The leg aside, the shape the arms in. We'll have to build it from scratch. Is there any chance you can have it done in a week? Give us some credit, Ed. Three days. But you'll have to make do with this spare for now. That's pretty impressive. Are they going to give him a foot as an it's arm? a little difficult to walk oh, on a leg stop. I'm not used to. <laughs> no. You'll be finished before They're, you get used to That's his other yeah. Three days, gotcha. huh? Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing. That's three all-nighters. I'm sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> Well, you want to get to Central as soon as possible, right? Then I'll work my butt off for you. But you better believe you're going to pay a cute, fortune cute. in rush order fees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't ask for that. <laughs> it just... well, it's very like it? Ariel's oh. dad. <laughs> just starts punching wood. So this guy is just going to be fists and shirtlessness is the answer to everything. I mean, yeah. In a certain sense, yeah. yeah. But uh, but the other thing is, Winry, uh, Ed blushed little a little blush. Bit. Very cute. I haven't seen Edward anywhere around the house in a while. Yeah. He said he was going off to visit his mother's grave. 
Oh, that's sad. Oh, and they're gonna see him without an arm and limping, like what kind of lives are the not boys as cool as he is. That's you know? not quite the homecoming he wanted. They have yet yeah. to send us so much as a single letter. Ed and Al are well known for their alchemy, even in a high-profile place like Central. Sometimes that gets them into trouble. They seem to have a knack for finding it. But don't worry, they're all right. The Elric brothers are strong boys. Strong, huh? Yes, I think you could call them that. I'm curious, Madam Rockbell. You speak of the Elrics as though they were your grandsons. Of course, I've been watching over them since they were born. I'm a friend That's of the sweet. family, you see. The boy's oh. father is an old drinking pal of mine. One day, he up and left the village, abandoning his wife and son. What sons. is the deal with the father? I don't even know whether he's alive now or not. Maybe he alchemied himself into some trouble. Yeah. Seems to be the running trend here. Yeah. Come to think of it, madam. And the head. Don't tell me the head. Okay, so it's an Ozai situation mm. where they're not going to show us the guy's head until like a little bit. The in. big reveal. Where yeah. The baby. Parents. So cute. Gone, Major. They both died in the Civil War. Oh. My son and his wife were surgeons. They went to the battlefield to do what they could. There were never enough doctors for all the injured soldiers. It was terrible war. Yes, it was indeed. Mm. Oh, looks like it's about time for me to get supper started. You look like you could eat a lot, but don't worry, there's plenty. Oh no, please don't trouble yourself on my account. Food always tastes better with guests anyway. We also have an empty patient's cot and some spare bedding if you'd like. The boys don't have anywhere mm. else to stay but here. Adding one more guest won't be any inconvenience to us. What about the house they grew up in? Oh. It's gone now. Oh. The brothers don't have any home to return to. Well, the day they left sad. after Ed had gotten his state certification, they burned down their own house. Oh. My wow. guess is they did it because with no house to come home to, there could be no turning back. Burning the ships. Mm. Him having a puppy back. friend that also has a metal arm is very cute. Very sweet. love to try and bring your mother back to life. What a tremendous sacrifice to give up your arm in order to transmit your brother's disembodied soul. What determination to burn down your own house to make He's so dramatic, literally. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> Isn't the voice actor incredible? <laughs> Some robotics adjustment. Yup. I love Edward's hair. Look at you mm. working hard so early in the morning. Been up all night. Mm. No nose. Just... <laughs> You're still at it, busy as a bee. At this rate, you must be almost done. One more all nighter. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Get out! <laughs> He's so short. They said it would take three days, right? So, give them three days. Mm, yeah, I know, I know. It's just when I think of a clue to the stone sitting in Central Library somewhere, I get so impatient. I wonder if he, um, if he ever gets floss for stone, makes Here himself a little taller. It's all uh, ready. <laughs> that'd be funny. You ready? All of a sudden, yeah, just on a little taller. Two, three. <laughs> all right. Part every time when the nerves have to connect like that. Oof. Once we have the Philosopher's Stone, I can kiss that pain goodbye. So Our that's biggest source of income. I'll the be one sad drawback. to see you go. Mm. Hold still. Do you want me to do this right or not? It's just so lovely. The smell of oil, the hum of the ball bearings, the rugged yet amazingly beautiful form created through anatomical engineering. Oh, how wonderful you are, my automail. Crazy 
you gearhead. You're lost without me, alchemy freak. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right, new arm. Well, yeah, it feels good. I increased the percentage of chrome this time, so it should be less prone to rusting. The trade-off is that it's not quite as strong, so don't try anything crazy. Hey, listen up! Yeah. <laughs> you can fix him right here. Yep. You have to know the trick to it, though. Major, you see that seal on the inside of his back? No. That's the How do you come up with that? Al's soul in the armor. So I have to be sure not to ruin it. <laughs> That's gonna come back sometime. It's gotta, right? There's no way they make it that go. big of a thing. And then just drop it. You're ready to try Do you think it ever has to be moved to yeah. a new set of armor or something? Huh. It'll be quiet around here without those boys. Maybe. Hello, brother? It's time to head to Central and find Dr. Marco's documents. We leave first thing tomorrow morning. Escape Cheyenne. Come here. Sleeping with his tummy out again. What am I gonna do with him? It's like you're the older one, huh, Al? <laughs> he can be a handful. Someone has to look after him. How old are the two of you boys now? I'm 14, and brother's 15. Okay. Oh, God. But he still sounds it's younger than 14. Someone as young and as small yeah. as he is could be used as a human weapon. It's almost funny, especially watching him sleep. Thanks, both of you. Uh, What's this? Why so formal? Granny, Winry, I'm so grateful to you for always welcoming us like we're really family. He won't ever say it, but I know Brother feels the same way. Al. Don't you worry, dear. We know he feels that way, too. He doesn't have to say it. Granny, Winry, thank you. He's still, still upset. Yeah. Thank you again for everything. That was touching. Sure. Hey, where's Winry? If anything ever happens Rest. to Granny and Winry? She stayed up three nights in a row. Want me to wake her? Uh, that's okay. Gra tell me Granny's not prime emotional oh, death totally. material. Just yeah. softball. Mm-hmm. Not integral to the, like, repairing of the yeah. armor. Yeah, integral just to just... definition dispensable and heart-wrenching. And it's the only one that's really heart-wrenching exactly. anymore. Winry, Winry, I think, sticks around, because... She has to. Would have said the same thing about the dog and that girl, because they were featured and we got to know their names and that doesn't mean anything have okay. you not learned anything okay fine thank you again for everything granny sure hey where's winry resting she stayed up three nights in a row want me to wake her uh, that's okay she just nagged me make sure to do your maintenance or whatever hold All on right. a second boys hmm? you should come back once in a while and have dinner with us <laughs> you want us to come all this way into the mountains just for some dinner? <laughs> Edward, Alphonse. Oh. Come back soon, okay? Very sweet. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. This was a beautiful little episode. Yeah, definitely oh, feeling more you. hopeful. Uh, road to hope. Road of hope. We did end up more hopeful with more hope. So I think there's a post credit scene. Ah. <sighs> I just about slept through the entire day. Been there. Whenever Ed comes over, it's like a tornado hit this place. Huh? Whoopsie. Oh no. So something's gonna be wrong. But okay, so she forgot a screw, which makes me think, is she gonna have to go after them and give them the oh. screw back? Or is it like a leave your hair clip in the guy's bathroom situation? So he has to text you and say, oh my God, you forgot your hair I, clip. Maybe it was like a subconscious 
thing that she did so that she would get to see him again. Maybe, maybe. Yes, well, uh, that was episode six of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. A happy episode, actually. Shocker. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for this show to become depressing again on Sunday. <laughs> if you can't wait on to watch that episode, along with several other episodes ahead, these episodes are posted to the Patreon linked in the description below right now in their extended uncut forms. Along with episodes one through four of Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan OVAs, including No Regrets Parts 1 and 2. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching. Now we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode, check out the link in the description below. Join at any level and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Carco11 asks, Marco, the doctor that they met, told Edward to only seek the truth if he won't regret it in the end. Do you have any guesses on what the truth could be? I mean, that's such a cop out, right? Because no, you're not going to know if you're going to regret it until you do it and then it's too late. Yeah. So like, I feel like that's just being intentionally unhelpful. I feel like maybe there's going to be some like revelation about what's involved in becoming an alchemist and maybe there's like some like bad energy there, especially with the other group that we learned about. That there's like a downside to alchemy that they were never told about and that they're like inadvertently hurting people every time they do a transformation or something. Yeah. I think it's going to be something that makes him go, should I just stop using alchemy? Well, let's go to question two. All right. Lars asks, with both both Shao Tucker's research and Dr. Marco's healing, we see that state alchemists are not always primarily combatants. What does it say about a society to coerce all these sorts of people into the military umbrella? That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. It's messed up. And that's what makes me think the Fuhrer King Bradley, there's something up with him. Like, like the idea of, because the thing is alchemy is so general. Like the idea, like, it's not like they're like, there's attack, defense, and coordination. It's like yeah. construction, deconstruction, reconstruction. And the fact that they, that's so general means there are definitely going to be other fields of people. But being told like either A, you like will become an enemy of the state or B, you have to go murder, commit genocide basically with these powers. If you are Roy Mustang and you use fire powers, you are like basically a walking huge flamethrower. Mm -hmm. That's one thing to be sent to war. But if you're somebody who primarily uses it for something else and have to bastardize the way you use alchemy in order to use it to kill people, that's gotta change. Even if you go back to the previous way that you were utilizing it, it'll forever change the way you view alchemy. Cause it's like you're using the, the murder weapon and it's you every time. And that's gotta cause so much inner turmoil and distress. I just think it's so incredibly unfair to put that on a person and the idea that like okay for the state now for the rest of your life you're gonna have to live with this knowledge of what you did under threat from your government like that's terrible incredibly upsetting and I mean it's just fucked up like there aren't really like words for it it just it's so wrong and it says that and it tells us society a uh, pretty pretty militaristic mindset exactly all right let's go to our final question Shane Gilroy asks after seeing the flashbacks what do you think of when Henry's relationship with the brothers in the present. I mean, I think it's a pretty common thing, like teasing your friends and then as they get more like secure in their abilities, you kind of stop teasing them because there isn't as but there much still material. Them, but there was still that teasing going on. Only thing now is that seems like one person, Winry's kind of chill, whereas Ed is kind of squirrely. I think loving teasing is such an important part of relationships, but I think definitely, I mean, <laughs> I was going to say, it seems like the boys have an affinity for like not following the rules. Mm. I say as they've gotten themselves into this situation yeah. by breaking like the one biggest rule. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're rule followers or just kind of like go along with anyone's ideas but their own. So I think the fact that they're listening to her at least a little bit shows a pretty big degree of respect and admiration. And then the joking is just they're just close enough to do that. So yeah. it's very sweet. I like their dynamic and I'm excited to see more of it, um, especially now that we know that he is missing a screw. Yeah. Uh, which I wonder if that's going to be a running gag or something, if it keeps popping out. But we'll see if she goes to meet them to fix it. Maybe sticks around for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I wonder what her can she use alchemy? Doesn't seem like she did, but we're going to have to see moving forward. But but uh, thank you for watching that episode and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episode 7 coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Hidden Truths. If you can't wait want to watch that episode along with these, they are all posted to the Patreon linked in the description below in their extended uncut forms. I think that's about it. Are we 
excited for episode seven of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.